you're here. All right. So welcome here to Fahrenheit 555 Steakhouse. So we actually have two experiences here for you. We have the um, the steakhouse experience, which is actually $42 for a five-course meal. And all the food, they're actually made in the house. Whose house? Jamal's house. In Trinidad. In Trinidad. <laughs> All right. And we also have the chef's table, which is actually um, a seven-course meal for $80. And that is actually an exclusive experience because it comes with um, a galley tour. Everybody say, ooh, ooh. interesting. Unlimited wine and extra love and care from our culinary team. I love that. Who love to experience that one. Guess what? If you want to inquire, we have Irina, our steakhouse manager, that will be more than happy to check um, your slots for you. All right, so I guess we're more than ready. Now it's about time that we um, get to know the people, the handsome men behind these fabulous and sumptuous food. First up, we have our chef. Show some love for chef. All right, thank you, thank you, man. Thank you. Okay, good afternoon, everybody. Okay, welcome to Night. Steakhouse, okay. Anybody has dined here so far? Anybody? Yes. Yeah, how's the experience? Wonderful. Good. Yeah, wonderful. Okay, for all who doesn't know this experience, okay, this place is like two, three hours of dining experience. When I say the dining experience is one of the best meal service, when I say the best meal service, I mean the quality of the steaks. So the steaks over here are all prime and upper choice steaks. That's why there's a price for its $42 cover charge. Okay, and we have the best selection of meat for you. We have the ribeye chop, we have the ribeye steak, okay, we have the filet mignon. Okay, for a filet mignon, trust me, over here, you do not even have to use a steak knife. You can easily cut it off with a butter knife. It's so soft and tender. Yeah, so we have the lamb racks, which is one of the best lamb chops, okay? That's Australian lamb racks, okay? One of the beautiful, very soft, tender, juicy. We have the, for the seafood lovers, we have the cold water lobster. That's from uh, Canada. Okay, it's one of the best products we do receive. Okay, it's soft, tender, okay, more on the sweeter side. Also, we have the for the fish lovers, the Dover sole, okay, fish, it's a flat fish, beautiful fish, okay, very good, okay, with the, with the selection of sauces you get, okay, it's very nice. Also, we have the, we have the best, uh, I think, the best chefs working out for you, the best service available for you, okay, it's a one-time event of dining experience in the steakhouse, I think, so you will love this experience, okay, and you do, do you do enjoy it, and you can enjoy it also. So, this is, uh, we do have some tasters, okay, as I call some teasers, okay, you can try it out, you can see how we, how the food we prepare over here, okay, and you can, uh, and you can see what is the experience all about, yeah, thank you very much and do enjoy the show, yeah, thank you. Thank you. So, some love for Chef Sydney, alright, that's it for us, thank you so much for joining us, have a great night. Bye guys, don't have to do other things. We're about to start, we're up for a treat, guess what? Oh, I'm here. Wow, interesting. All right, so starting off this, we have Chef Sydney, of course, and we are doing the mushroom cappuccino. I had lunch already, but only this. I mean, this is just the start. But I'm hungry again, so I'm gonna ask every them to not give you guys anything anymore because we'll take it. Add some white wine. Mm. Ooh, that's the time that there will be like shh. no fire effects, no fireworks, no fireworks. <laughs> All right, so we put the wine. Why do we put the wine, Chef? Just to just to give it a good taste, a nice a tinge of the wine like flavor you get into this mushroom soup. Love that. Alright. Do you smell it? Oh, you actually have a taste of it already. How was it? Let's uh, put it on a nice golden brown color. And now we're putting the chicken stock. Vegetable stock as well? You can also use vegetable stock as, um, uh, what do you call this? We'll simmer it for 10 to 15 minutes. Okay. Don't forget your salt and your pepper to taste, according to your taste. How does that taste, guys? How does it taste? That's just the introduction. I want some 
Put it on the blender after 10 to 15 minutes of simmering so that we will have this um, result. So what it's actually showing here that we have a... Okay, basically this is, uh, after putting it in the blender, you get a fine strain liquid. Okay, this liquid has to pass to a Shinoa. Shinoa is nothing but a fine strainer. Okay, so you get, get a very clear, thin liquid like this. Okay. Perfect. So there are no like big bits on it because it went to a strainer or a strain. Perfect. Love that. All right. We're going to add some now we're going to add cream. Interesting. Oh, so good. Now it's starting to look like coffee. Yeah. <laughs> Who loves coffee? All right. Yeah. Here's a different coffee experience for you. Mushroom cappuccino. What are you putting, Chef? Put some truffle oil. Truffle oil, ooh, fancy. Truffle oil has a very strong flavor, so you just put around a few drops, like two, three drops of truffle oil. Just two, three drops because the five uh, types of mushroom has their flavors as well, so when they go together, it's like on point. All right, and just like that, We are now going to final presentation. Chef Sydney is going to dance. Dance presentation. <laughs> All right, so we're putting it on. A lion head, a fancy lion head. <laughs> or back home, we can do it on a simple bowl. But here on 5 Hour Steakhouse, we say fancy, honey. Ooh, now it looks like coffee. There you go. Okay, so we're putting what's next, Chef? Parsley. No, sorry. We're going to put in some milk broth. Milk. Give it a cappuccino look, you know? A milk foam. A milk foam. Now it's a cappuccino. Everybody say, ooh. Interesting. Love it. Now add some chopped parsley. Like that, you see it? Magic. Perfect. Just like that, we have a dressing. We press baby spinach, just wash the rings, remove little bits came out like this. Right. Now we're going to prepare the salad. Now it's time to do the salad. All right. Mushroom Napoleon. 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 Napoleon Timber. Alright, so actually what we put the little one is actually the surprise in the middle. Because Chef Johan loves surprises. Because he has a surprise for me. He's going to give this whole salad to me. Thanks, Chef. <laughs> Alright. Put the bacons on top. Perfect. The blue cheese crumbles. Ooh. Mushroom salad with blue cheese dressing. They like Chef Chomai. Question is, how does it taste? Period. Thank you so much, Chef Chomai. Thank you very much. All right, now. Is that a chicken breast? Yes. Perfect. All right, so what are you doing now, Chef? Take it on high heat, and we're now. Sear it. So we are seeding all the flavors inside. So you just see the master chef now it's coming to life. Add some salt and pepper. Brie number two. Fresh 
Fresh balls and rollers, number three. Parmesan, number four. And mascarpone cheese as our fifth cheese. Okay, so this uh, mac and cheese comes, uh, is actually made up of five different cheese. Love that. actually booked this cruise on Fahrenheit 55 Steakhouse. Perfect. Right. You, I, you guys are up for it. Sometimes you get too excited. So we just put that all in. Double boiler. Double boiler. Three egg yolks. I won't ask you anymore because I feel like all of you love tiramisu. A teaspoon of sugar. I mean, teaspoons of sugar. Three spoons of sugar. There you go. Mix it properly. You're gonna make it. How do you say it? Savayant. Savayant. Survive. I cannot read fancy words. I'm sorry, I'm poor. <laughs> Take four to five minutes. Why are you laughing, Jamal? <laughs> she agree, I'm poor. Okay. Perfect. Continuously stir it. Perfect. Of all the desserts, are you in charge of all the desserts here? Oh no. Okay, just the tiramisu because that's his perfect dessert. Turn off the heat. And now we're putting, we're going to put mascarpone cheese. Full cup of whipped cream. Love it. then mix it again so that everyone, every ingredient will come together. We are the world. We are the children. <laughs> Chef, what are you getting? What's that? Grand Mariner Liquor. Put some more. Put some more. Put some more. All right. After you have this dessert, oh girl, you won't uh, walk straight anymore. Marsala cooking wine. Mm, interesting. Alcohol, she said. I told you, you're up for a treat. We have alcohol in you. Then mix it again. Now we're going to put it on the freezer after like thoroughly mixing it. Perfect. Who knows as how's a Grand Mariner taste? Have you tasted Grand Mariner? Oh, yeah. How does it taste? <laughs> Love that. Because of that, I'll take the rest of those. Ooh, how do you call that glass? What do you call that glass? Espresso, all right. Now we're doing the base. Put sugar on the espresso. All right, for coffee lovers, this is for you. Coffee liquor. Put some more, I mean, put some more, Chef. All right. Ladyfinger biscuits, biscuits, okay. Not real ladyfingers, okay? We don't, we're not cruel. 
All right. Lady Finger Biscuits. Janelle. <laughs> All right, that's our base. Now, this is the one that we put, the, the mixture that we put on the freezer, on the fridge. Put that cream. I know, I'm salivating. Cocoa powder mm -hmm. on top. Wow, I only see that on commercial. Thank you so much for making me experience it. <laughs> <laughs> and then some oh. strawberries. Oh. And that is your tiramisu by Chef Dota. So No, I had the surf and turf as well. I had that as well. You had the surf and turf? Uh-huh. 